got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, for my topic, I want no. to... <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Jairus, the great disruptor. <laughs> I want to talk about movies. Um, I want to talk about what are your favorite movies that you feel don't get enough credit? Like, what's a movie that you love that people just kind of overlook? Or maybe not love, but just like a movie that is good that you just really enjoy, but no one else really did. That's what I want to talk about. Also, I'm secretly fishing for movies to watch on, while I'm in quarantine. <laughs> So, oh. the worst thing is all my answers you already know and don't well, care about. Well, go ahead and tell us anyway. Okay, well, so it's <clears throat> Speed Racer. <laughs> it's Speed Racer. <laughs> What's another one, though? You have to have another one. Brittany, how many times has Michelle made you watch Speed Racer this month? Um, not not in a yet, but it was suggested the other night. That's because it's not on Netflix. Is it, is she just like low key, just like, oh, hey, I think we should. Oh, you're looking for something to watch, huh? Have you thought about like speed racing? Well, to be something? fair, I do the same thing with movies that are I know are terrible, like The Arrival with Charlie Sheen. All the time. <laughs> oh my! I try God. to sneak backwards. Knees. I try to sneak that one in all the time. Where I'm like, you know what I feel like? Let's just do something crazy. Let's watch The Arrival. And he's and, and and every he's time, like, no. Uh, <laughs> and every time my brain forgets that movie exists for like a few seconds so I'm like oh yeah I'd like to watch the really good movie Arrival with uh, <laughs> about the species of aliens that tries to contact us and yeah. stuff and I'm like oh no she means that <laughs> shitty toy shame movie <laughs> by the way Brittany if you want to do some reading you should pick up a copy of Ted Shang's uh, uh, Stories of Your Life uh, okay. which is the short collection that contains the short story that arrival is based on oh okay sweet yeah actually um i've been getting into the podcast night vale um mm. i heard a lot of people talk about it. i didn't really know what it was about but i started listening to it the other day and it is amazing um i ended up buying uh one of their books that just came out in march it's called the faceless old woman who secretly lives in your home um <laughs> and I, I like their Girl Scout patches. Oh yeah, they're amazing. So I'm about to start reading that book. Uh just got it in the mail the other day, so uh, but I'll put that other book on my list. Um but to go back to the movies, uh so one of my favorite movies Over the Top. <laughs> uh Waterworld. I yeah. feel like a lot of people are sleeping on Waterworld and it is a really good movie. Like it's nowhere near as bad as people shat on it for as long as they have. Yeah, I feel like it's a good action movie. Um another Dennis one, Hopper fucking kills it. Oh yeah, Dennis Hopper is amazing. Um another movie that I think a lot of people didn't like when they first saw it was Shutter Island mm. with Leonardo DiCaprio. And I thought that movie was really good. It was very suspenseful. I don't think it ended the way people wanted it to. But I I really liked it. I've been meaning to watch that. I, I have it uh, locally. I need to see it. Yeah, you should check it so, out. So last night, uh, Steph and I watched The Master with okay. Philip Seymour Hoffman and Joaquin Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sold on um, just the actors. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an amazing uh, kind of slow, weird film about somebody starting a cult that pretty closely resembles Scientology. I'm, all right, I'm on board um, now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, um, and I, I showed it to her cause I, she's really become a large fan of the Joker. And I was like, I can't connect with the Joker because every time I see Joaquin Phoenix being that kind of crazy, mm -hmm. I want it to be the master. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I, I think The Master is a really beautiful movie and uh, well-made. Um, under appreciated movies, there is a Sylvester Stallone movie called Over the Top, wherein Sylvester Stallone plays a truck driver who's really into arm wrestling. <laughs> This and goes to Las Vegas to compete in an arm wrestling tournament so that he can win his own truck and get his son. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm, 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 I'm down, down uh, for this. 
I'm put- I believe it's on Amazon Prime still. But I'm put- it's fucking wild. I'm putting that on the list. So uh, right now, something that uh, we're doing, uh, we just started this last night. Actually, every week we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a community movie watching session. And last night we watched mm. uh, Space Jam. And, okay. And I'm putting that on the list because uh, so, I want to see that. Yeah, movie. we're looking for movies that are on like any streaming service, uh, Netflix or Hulu okay. or Amazon. And then we so, just talk to each other in the Discord and watch the movie together. We all push play at the same time. So, so, okay. so actually, for Amazon Prime videos, I think and that what you can Discord is that you can um, watch them on stream. You can stream those. I think. I think it's a new thing they announced. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, that's... This is the moment when you plug the Discord. It's the heat Discord. <laughs> it's our Half Empty Energy Tank Discord. There's a link in uh, the description. So join in. Come okay. hang out with us. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you about the movie that everybody forgets on, but it's one of the best 90s, 1990s action films of all time. Speed Racer. No. <laughs> No, this is The Long Kiss Goodnight starring oh, yeah. Gina Davis and Samuel oh, Jackson. Oh, yeah. That, is that movie is amazing, and people sleep on yeah. it all the time. Yeah. It, it's funny to see Samuel L. Jackson before he was, like, universally recognized as a yes, badass. Yes, yes. He was just, like, because he's, in a lot of ways, the, the comedic foil in that movie. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's fucking weird now to see that, but if you go back to Die Hard 3, that's like how he broke into the action movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love Die Hard 3. Um, one of the best things about The Long Kiss Goodnight, though, is... Uh, fucking Gina <coughs> Davis. Gina yeah. Davis is a fucking rock star in I that like movie. it when she yells at her kid. Yeah, she, yeah, she <laughs> yells like, at her kid. Yeah. <laughs> Stop uh, crying, or I forget the line, but also, the, the, that's what Britney flips the beam to just people yelling at their kids. I mean, Britney needs people yelling at kids to get through the day. It's yeah. just part, it's, that's why she goes through all the meme channels. But the last action set for that movie, it was at the time the most expensive action set that was ever filmed. Yeah. And uh, you could tell me that before. Wasn't that also a Shane Black? What's that? Wasn't uh, Long Kiss Goodnight Shane Black? Uh, I think. Let me look. I, I have the I have the wiki right in front of me because I forgot wiki. Gina Davis's name. Uh, and yes, produced by Shane Black. So, and he wrote it. Screenplay by. Yep, you're right. Um, yeah. So, so who's Shane Black? I don't know much about him. <laughs> so Shane Black wrote. Let me pull it up okay. so I don't misspeak. So, Kiss Kiss Bl- Bang Bang, okay. mm-hmm. uh, Iron Man 3, Lethal Weapon, like Last Boy Scout, Ooh. Last Action Hero. Ooh, that's a good one, Weapon too. Two, Lethal Weapon 4, or Lethal Weapon 3, Robocop 3, um, <laughs> As Good As It Gets. <laughs> Hey, that's an award-winning movie. <laughs> Funnily Something enough, I actually have. I actually have. Wolfman's uh, got nards. I'm sorry. What? Wolfman's got nards. Hmm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so I might have crossed yeah, past so with got- him because I actually was on the set of Lethal Weapon Three when they exploded the building the, uh, that was at the very beginning of the film. Uh, because it was in Tampa, and my parents were like, "Let's go to the movie set. Let's go They're watch the explosion here." <laughs> and they were letting people come and watch us explode a building for some reason. Hmm. Yeah. Florida's wild. I think he also wrote. He had some relationship to uh, the original Die Hard, but I can't remember what it was. Okay. Well, it sounds like he knows how to write a fucking good action movie. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> a lot of his, a lot of his shit is good and like kind of surprisingly good um and he tends to go in like slightly different directions he has also has a lot of like um he's been involved so you know how like quentin tarantino got his start doing punch-ups on existing scripts mm-hmm. yeah 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 i think shane black was one of the people who would touch up <clears throat> scripts and like drastically improve them okay well i mean uh- yeah he's a lot of classic 80s shit. I'm not surprised. That is... Uh, it, 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 the Long Kiss Goodnight is probably like the... 
the um what's nice about it is it feels like an 80s action movie but like a diehard level 80s action film not like schwarzenegger action film like it's got it, you've got like a real person as the starring role it feels like mm-hmm. it's not super over the top it, i mean it has its or, moments or, it is but, <laughs> but it, it, the, the main the lead actor feels like a regular human being in the film what about you, Hutch? Uh, I I had to. I was struggling to to find the answer to this one, but uh, like first thing I thought, or one of the first one was like Tron Legacy. I I really mm-hmm. enjoy the music. Uh, people a lot. I feel like it, it gets panned more than anything, but uh, I think the visual style's excellent and it's really entertaining. And uh, I love that movie. Yeah, is that the newer yeah. one? Yeah, it's the newer one. Yep. Okay. It looked amazing. Yeah, it did. I vaguely remember watching it i've only seen it once the only problem i think uh that didn't stand the test of time was the uh cg version of uh what's his name the dude yeah jeff bridges yeah, bridges, yeah. <laughs> the dude uh, i don't think that was that has stood the test of time but everything no. else about that film is fantastic and honestly you could just i'm not a fan about downloadable dlc for movies but you could just update the graphics on that one what? part of the film. <laughs> what? And make it way better. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking what? about? What? <laughs> you, you can patch it like that Cats movie. They did it. Where movies get patched. <laughs> Give us like the that butthole version. Cats, and that pisses me off so much. Oh, I need the okay. I want to see that cat butthole. <laughs> I, feel like I feel like we're touching on something that could be another topic. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Show me the butthole cut. Yeah, <laughs> probably could be. Should have made that your fucking topic for this episode. Shut up. Shut up. I'm not. <laughs> oh, uh, Brittany. Two other things. Melissa will probably Michelle. <laughs> uh, Michelle will probably hate this. Uh, both of these, but you should. Uh, watch everything that Arnold Schwarzenegger did between 87 and 1990, okay. which uh, includes Running Man my favorite and Seen Total it. Recall. Oh, both yeah. of those movies are amazing. Both of those are amazing, yeah. Both of those movies are like two of the most amazing, mind-blowingly fucking batshit wild. Uh, I, I have a theory. I have a theory. Uh, the Running Man is the closest thing we'll ever get to a live-action Mega Man movie. <laughs> Also to the live action Smash TV. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's definitely closer to that. But when I was watching it, I just remember as a kid, I was just like, that's a lick man. That's guts man. Have oh, you, shit, that's have you man. guys ever seen um, Roadhouse? <laughs> You've been trying oh, to get me to watch my, this. No, no, Brittany. I've never <laughs> seen Roadhouse. Well, Michelle's never seen it. And I keep trying to tell her to watch it because it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I need to watch it. <laughs> I, I haven't seen it. Oh, it's so good. Okay. What the fuck, Hutch? <laughs> Hutch and Michelle, you're off this podcast. Oh no! <laughs> we can keep talking like, weekly. <laughs> but you still keep coming no, back. Like, <laughs> there's a podcast. barrier of entry to everything, <laughs> and the barrier of entry to this fucking podcast is having seen Roadhouse. <laughs> okay, good. I'll let that know whenever we get guests. Uh, <laughs> uh, Listen, there are only going to be two hits: me hitting you, you hitting the floor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So God. I just pulled up a poster for Roadhouse. I see Patrick Swayze looking like a badass against the wall. Yeah. And then there's three three separate picks. One's of a shirtless Patrick Swayze uh, glistening yeah. in the sun. Uh, the second one is of him seducing some woman in, in, in what a the fuck have you in been an embrace. Your life and then the th- and Roadhouse. the third one is a car in mid flight with an explosion <laughs> behind it. <Yeah. laughs> It sounds like a movie so, we need to watch. I concur. We need to watch this. Yeah. It used right, to be I'll on put, Netflix. I don't know if it's on there anymore. I'll put but... that on the list. Maybe that can be. They steal. Oh, yeah. No, it's it's good. <laughs> All right. So we have one minute left. Alternatively, let's talk about movies that, unpopular opinion, what are movies that everyone likes but you don't think are that great? I'll go first. Like, I think all of the Marvel okay. movies are okay. Like, they're good movies, but I feel like they got way too much hype for what they were. Okay. <laughs> I think you're right on some of that, them. With the exception of uh, Thor Ragnarok, because Taika Waititi yeah. brought some fresh shit to that's it. The, that's right. the exception. <laughs> I think that 
I, I agree for the most part. Uh, that being said, I think the Infinity films are a fantastic ending to all of the films. Yeah, no, I think it. I'm not saying they're bad films. I enjoyed them, but it's for for me, it's like a one watch thing. I don't, I don't think you can over. Uh, yeah. In my opinion, I don't think you can overrate the Infinity films. I think they're okay, fantastic well. films. <laughs> What's in- I disagree with you. I know you do. Um, most I, <laughs> I. D- I don't like that film is moving towards everything has to be uh, at least a trilogy. And now we've like cracked open this realm of there are 75 movies in this franchise. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I think that makes it so new screenwriters can't do things. I think it makes it so one-off films have a harder time existing. Yeah, I absolutely like, agree don't with that. Need, <clears throat> we don't need a sequel to A Quiet Place, but we're getting one. I'm really sad about that. That being said, there's not. There's also good things that come with franchises. I don't think we should shit on just franchises. I think we should shit on bad ones or an attempt to make one from scratch. Uh, for example, like the the monster universe that Paramount tried to make with like that Mummy movie that mm-hmm. was terrible with Tom Cruise. <clears throat> That was a bad way to yeah. do a franchise, but like Fast and Furious, yeah, the mummy happened. already <clears throat> exists. It's called Brandon Frazier. Speaking of which, also <laughs> one of uh, not underrated anymore, but for a long time there was an underrated film. I love the mummy movies. Yeah. Well, I don't like the third one, but the first two were really good. I'm even okay with the third one. Crazy <laughs> with that. Was the third one Scorpion King? No, no, no. that's the second one. The third one that was a, that was a side China. story. Oh, I didn't see the third one. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, uh, it doesn't have uh, uh, Rachel Wise in it. So first of all, it's terrible just for that reason. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, yeah. she is. She was one of the reasons why I was just like, oh yes, I am definitely attracted. She to made women. the pee pee the big pee pee. Yes, definitely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and the, I mean, yeah, she's she's stunning. Uh, but so she's gone, and then it just got really weird because it's all the Chinese mummies. That's is that the first time you've heard that phrase, Jairus? No, no, it was it was one hundred percent Britney's delivery of that joke. So, that that made it absolutely perfect. Okay, cool. I really appreciate. It. I hear Britney say that probably like once every other day. I love that phrase. I've heard her say it before, but it was like. It was the the kind of stern, like, <laughs> vaguely accusatory, like, oh, it makes the pee-pee the big pee I huh? say that at work all the time, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get, I'm going to get called to HR's office. <laughs> they're going to be like, maybe you can't. And they're going to use the handbook yeah. that you wrote. Yeah. You're like, maybe you can't say this to all the men you work with. <laughs> Brittany, in this handbook that you wrote, it specifically references the joke. It made did it make the pee pee the big pee pee as an inappropriate thing? Brittany, you wrote that. You put that on paper, and then you said it to a fellow employee. Yep. She says it to a fellow employee all the time. <laughs> we were playing board games. I forget what happened. We were playing some Lord of the Rings board Michelle, game. You're her partner. You don't like in the primacy. In in the uh like prioritization of your relationship to Brittany, mm-hmm. coworker is not above partner. No, no, I'm not saying to me. She said it to several coworkers <laughs> while I it was also there. <laughs> and that we were playing Lord Rings. Words game. of Brittany. Talk shit, get hit. Hell yeah. It was it was it was a special night. I enjoyed it. It was a very special night. <laughs> I never liked um, Napoleon Dynamite. I never got that movie. Oh, really? Where did that, that come from? Ooh. Oh, original topic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. I think the first time I watched that movie, everyone was like, "It's hilarious. You're gonna love it." And then I watched it, and I was like, "I don't, I don't get it. Like, what's funny about it?" It took me a couple of tries and then i feel like even then maybe i was forcing it because i wanted to fit in <laughs> it's no nacho libre <laughs> yeah it's no nacho libre but uh, i heard every quote from that film like a long time before i actually watched it then i watched mm-hmm. it and then i i started to question the comedic value of my friend's opinions <laughs> <laughs> i actually saw that in theaters and it was, i was at the time i was like that's okay 
I saw it in Brittany, school. I have. My teacher was like, have, if you skip class, oh. I'm showing this film in my class. So if you can get out of your Spanish class and come and watch it, I'll let you in. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Good old Spartan. Here's the yeah. bit one ticket. The third period. <laughs> I have one last movie that I just remembered uh -huh. that you need to watch, and it's available on YouTube. Oh, in 16 um, parts? <laughs> no, in one part, because that's how fucking old and strange it is. It's a movie from 1988 called The Wizard of Speed and Time. Ooh, I'm interested. <laughs> okay. What's it about? It is about a wizard. <laughs> about a uh, special effects artist and his fight with an evil film company. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to write this and down. And it's written and directed <laughs> by a special effects artist. Mm. Great. Okay. okay. So it's like one of those weird semi autobiographical stories. Perfect. All right. I love it. Well, I'm in. I'm in. All right, well, I hope everyone at home made a list. <laughs> I know I did. All right, well. <laughs> I just sent it to you on the internet. Perfect, I just got it. The internet is amazing. All right, well, guys, we'll yeah. see you on the next segment. Bye. Bye. See you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> Bye.